Welcome to Up Late, everyone. I'm Ron Jones. And I'm Aisha Howard. So we have a lot going on tonight, but we began with Georgia politics paying a visit to the West Coast. Former gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams spent the day talking to Hollywood power players, pitching them on continuing to work in the Peach State despite the recent anti-abortion law. 11 Alive's Faith Abube is the only Georgia reporter in L.A. officially, and she sat down with Abrams just a few hours ago. And so what did we learn, Faith? So uh, before that, we should say we got the first interview with her after she walked out of that interview, and she told us that it was very productive. She says it was a positive tone in that room. It was a packed room with show executives, show runners, and a lot of people, people like people who are in payroll, a lot of people who are worried about their jobs. She wouldn't say exactly who was in that room and whether any of the companies that have called for boycotting Georgia if the anti-abortion law goes into effect. Uh, were there any of those companies were in the room? But here's more for our, our conversation on that. There's a great deal of disconcertion and a great deal of panic. Uh, they haven't had a clear sense of what the governor intends to do. Uh, they feel a bit disrespected by his glib denial and denouncement of their star property, which are the actors. Describe your role in that room. Were you representing the state of Georgia and answering questions? Or what, what were you doing? I'm a Georgian. I am not the leader of the state of Georgia, and I'm very clear about that. But I am someone who sat at the table in 2008 and helped move that legislation through Ways and Means. I'm someone who worked closely with Governor Deal and with the Department of Economic Development to maintain not only the entertainment industry, but to also think about how we built an infrastructure that let this tax credit work. Some have accused you of using this trip as a partisan self-promotion uh, since you don't hold any public office in Georgia. How would you respond to that? Democrats and Republicans are employed by the entertainment industry. Democrats and Republicans rely on the income from their small businesses, the cafes, the Airbnbs, from the way they have built their economies from the entertainment industry. I'm here as a Georgian. Did they give any indication as to where they are now? Are they still threatening to leave? We have to be very clear. If this law takes effect and women are denied access to health care, I have no doubt the companies that threaten to leave are going to leave, and most of the companies in that room are in the same boat. They will leave Georgia if this becomes law. My point is we have time to actually start to reverse this decision. And Abram says as productive as that meeting was, this is only the beginning. She says this is the first of several meetings she plans to have with the Hollywood insiders. She has another one scheduled for tomorrow as well. Of course, we'll continue following any developments from this and let you know any new details. Back to you guys. All right. Thank you, Faith. Political